Hello! Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Procrastinator Podcast. I'm Jane, I'm your host. My sister is doing homework in the background, and we hope you won't mind. <laughs> Um, what are you working on, Jenna? Math homework. Math homework. Okay. So, today, many new exciting developments, as usual. But, um, let's start with what I'm wearing. If you're new here, you may not know this one. Um, I finished it about a year ago. Yeah. Yeah, so I just got home from work. Um, I am a substitute teacher, so this was my outfit today. It was really chilly um, today and this week in Southern California, where I am. So it's been nice to wear things that I knit. Um, so as you saw, I'm wearing the uh, knit socks that I showed last episode, a couple episodes ago. And this uh, sweater is the rice jumper from We Are Knitters. <laughs> I'll cover you up. The rice jumper from We Are Knitters. Um, and it came in a kit that William got me for Christmas a while back. So here it is. I got a compliment on it today, which is nice because, yeah. I don't know. I guess it's nice to be complimented. Um, today I am finishing up my spin drift. I'm like trying to get into sparkling water because I all of a sudden started craving like fizzy sweet drinks. And I know sparkling water is not sweet like at all. <laughs> um, I didn't want to drink soda or diet soda. So I feel like this is the only alternative. This is Spindrift Strawberry Lemonade. And I would say it's more flavorful than most sparkling waters that I've had. And this is my first time um, having Spindrift. So that is that. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm wearing. I finished it a while ago, but I thought I would show you my very yarny project. So I do have one finished object to show you and it's this. It's all finished, ends woven in, washed, and blocked. Oh man. So I don't know if you can tell but it's grown significantly um, since washing and blocking. And the fit is just a lot more relaxed, more loose. I love it. It's perfect. After it came off the needles, I was really um, nervous about it because it wasn't the exact fit I wanted. And I was just hoping, praying that blocking would really, like washing it would, it's a super wash yarn. So I just hoped everything would expand and get loosened up. And, and But this, this came out better than I could have ever imagined. Like, I love it. I love it. It's the perfect slouchy fit. It's so soft, so comfortable. I wore this yesterday to sub in. Um, yeah, it's so comfortable. Such a good fit. The yarn is so soft next to skin. I wore it without, like today I'm wearing this underneath this, um, which I don't think is quite necessary, but Yesterday, I didn't wear under anything under this and I felt a little chilly because um, it's also windy here. Uh, so I thought, you know, um, that it might be a good idea to wear something underneath this. But I don't think this is itchy. Like, I I did think, yeah, I don't think you can see any irritation, but I did feel a little irritated by my neck, but not nothing too crazy. But with this, it's so soft um and this has a quite this is a hundred percent wool and there is a slight fuzz a slight halo as you can see and both of these yarns are like single ply so really fuzzy comfortable 
warm yarns. Um, but this one has a halo as well. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but it's like a slight pinkish purple fuzz. I just, I love this sweater. So I think I'm gonna put it on for you. But um, first, I guess I've already gone over the details quite a number of times, but it's a self-drafted raglan construction. Cast it on a certain amount for the neck and just knit it to the armhole I wanted, then I knit the rest of the body, then I picked up for sleeves. I did some rapid decreases here. The notes are in my Ravelry project page. Um, and then I did Jenny's stretchy bind off. I did a regular bind off for the bottom. I also did a slight decrease round at the bottom so it goes in a tiny bit. And then the collar is also, I just picked up around the collar, knit like maybe 10, maybe a little more, eh, I think about 10 rounds, and then stretchy bind off as well. I think it looks great. So I'm gonna put it on and show you, okay? I also have pictures up of me wearing this on my Instagram, but it's just so nice. My Instagram is taoyung underscore, if you don't know, and it will be linked down below as well. But let me show you. So, let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's a little hard to see. The sleeves um, hit pretty perfectly, I would say. Um, I don't know if they're actually uneven or if things are just a little weird, but yeah, they fit perfectly. Such a nice drape, a good fabric. I feel like it's not too holy, but not too tight or crunchy, like stiff as well. It's just beautiful drape, a perfect amount of positive ease. Um, if you remember my try on from last episode I was a little bit worried about that but it's perfect I love the way the neck is laying even more than I thought I would this is not how I expected the neck to look like but it looks even better than what I had envisioned for it I also love how the raglan increases look it's definitely I don't think it's meant to look like uh, it's a little holy I don't think it's meant to be holy like that I don't know, like I'm actually not sure if I do my raglan increases correctly or if I have them flipped. I think I have, I think I do it correctly, but I'm not certain. <laughs> but um, I just love how it looks, how it lays on me. It's a really lightweight fabric, really comfortable next to skin. So I really, really recommend it, the yarn. The yarn is Malabrigo Mecca in the colorway Glaze. And I think I had six or seven skeins to begin with. And I have one full skein that's untouched and a little bit of yarn left over as well. I'll update on my Ravelry how much I ended up using, but yeah, it's just great. It's terrific. I alternated skeins, which is something I definitely think you need to do. Um, and I did that with helical knitting. So that was really, really nice. So. Yeah, my first self-drafted raglan sweater. My first raglan sweater, actually. So I'm really happy with it. I was really nervous about it before um, I washed it, but it was great. And actually, um, maybe I'll bring this out to show because, well, like right after I washed it, as I was laying it out to dry, I could tell it was gonna be good because it had already stretched so much. And basically, I've never blocked, blocked anything. Basically, I just squeeze water out of it, like completely, like it's like really close to dry when I'm done squeezing the water out. And, um, like there's definitely no water dripping like at all and then William's mom got me this like pop-up mesh dryer I think Coco Knits is currently selling something that's really similar to what I have but I think she got it on Amazon um last year but it's really great compact like it twists up 
Let me get it actually. Oh, and I do want to say the yarn softened up quite a bit as well. I did use Euclid wool wash, so I don't know if that was it or if just the water softened it, but the yarn did soften up quite a bit. But maybe that's just because it got bigger so that the drape was more drapey. I don't know. Okay, anyways, this is what I'm talking about. It folds up like this. Oh, there's a brand on here. It's from Smart Design. So it folds up, folds up to something this big, and then it has these adjustable, like, buckles, so that when you buckle it, it could be like, like, a slight curve, or it could be like, super pringly, you know, um, just depending on how much you tighten it, and there's two of them, so it's a little more sturdy, but this is a lot of surface area. I was... I mean, I was only able to fit, like, the body of the, um, this sweater on there, but, you know, the sleeves I let, like, splay out under some towels, but the part that was on the mesh dried out in a day. In a day, in the winter, which is, you know, pretty wild. It's just the air circulation that the mesh gives is pretty incredible and I, I was still able to stretch things out but I didn't pin anything down which yeah so I don't know if blocking technically means I need to like pin stuff out or like stretch it like I did stretch it but you know it wasn't anything drastic where I needed pins to hold it in place for the stretching to stay if that makes sense um yeah so it took a uh, no time at all to dry and it's perfect i've already worn it at at least a couple times um yeah it's great it makes me want to knit another one even though like i feel like my experience knitting this i just it, i just felt like it was so sluggish and you know because of my test knit that i participated in and and my cardigan for my grandma that i just like this was one of many sweater projects and it just felt like a slog but you know I would definitely do this again if I timed it correctly because I actually think this is a really quick knit because this is bulky weight yarn um yeah so another thing I didn't expect is how heavy this sweater is but actually now that the drape is so nice um it doesn't feel as heavy even though it's the same way it was um but yeah so I'm so beyond happy with this finished object. I think it looks so lovely. Yeah. Okay, so those were, that's it for my, I mean, okay, actually, I have one more, I have one more finished object, but it's not completely finished. It's pretty close. So this is like a drastic change from what you will have remembered it as. Like, I have the stitch marker to show what you last saw it. Um, so it's pretty incredible, but it's the cardigan for my grandma. <gasps> Yay. Yay. So I'm done with it. I'm weaving in ends now, and then I'm going to wash it. This is Lion Brand Scarfy, which is 100% acrylic. Um, this is car cardigan number... Cardigan number... Seven, maybe? This one. Who are you? Cardigan number, cardigan number seven. By My Favorite Things, Knitwear. This is my second time knitting this pattern. Um, yeah, I mean, I like the pattern. I think it's a good pattern. Very simple pattern. I think you could definitely, if you're not a beginner, I think you could figure out how to make a raglan cardigan yourself <laughs> but it is it was really great for me as a beginner to have um i forgot to switch needles for the hem which i did on my first cardigan too so it it puffs out a little but it's not too bad um yeah so i put this on for you i used two balls of scarfie and I think I knit 
uh, the medium size. So I don't know what the yardage, what that yardage means, but um, yeah, I did not have to break into my third ball. So now I'm like, what do I do with the third ball? But, well, now that I have this sweater off, I want to show you just like how, I mean, you might have seen it when I first pulled it out, but it just like, it folds up so nicely. Like, look at the flop, the drape. It's just a great sweater. Really, really great sweater. Okay, now I have not put this cardigan on me yet, so we'll see. It's for my grandma. I think she's a little bit bigger than me, but I don't know. Does acrylic stretch? I guess that's something that I will need to find out. Okay, and I haven't picked out buttons for it yet, but this will have buttons. So hopefully it stretches because right now it's a little bit short. Um, if it doesn't stretch, then I'll just unpick and knit a little, knit the sleeves a little longer. Yeah, I mean, the collar I find so weird. This happens to my other one too. So I don't know. I don't know. Like, it just like flips out in a weird way. Um, but yeah. This is it. This is the cardigan. And at first I was worried about this like sharp contrast, but I think what I did to the sleeves like kind of evened out the craziness or like how weird and how weird this was. I don't know. I just feel like the, the contrast was a little bit too sharp, but now I feel okay about it. So who knows? But yeah, this is... This is the cardigan for my grandma. And here's my stitch marker. So last time you saw it, I was like, I had barely split, split the sleeves. And now it's done. It's like a week, a little bit over. Yeah, I guess a week of working on it pretty much every day. Finished it all up. So from, from this point. So yeah, the holes in the underarm, I feel like, Eh, could be better, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I feel like this would be more successful as a v-neck, a v, but maybe not, actually. I don't know. Who is to say? Yeah, I do feel like the collar fit is a little weird. Don't you think? Let's see how it is in a picture. Like, I think, like, maybe I just didn't knit it tall enough, so it's, like, just, like, flopping, but. Yeah, that's, like, looking weirder and weirder the more I look at it. Okay. That's fine. Um, okay, yeah, so that's my next finished object, almost. I'm weaving in the ends, and, okay, yes. Weaving me in the ends when it's a gift for someone, I'm taking my time. I'm being a lot more careful and a lot more thoughtful about it than I am with my knits. But it also is making me realize it's not that hard to be that thoughtful. So I think the next time I weave in garment, especially because this is bulky weight yarn. Yeah, I think the next time I finish a garment and like I'm weaving in ends, I will... Do it with a little more intention because it's definitely nicer when you put a little more thought into it. Um, so I'm glad that this project kind of made me realize that. Um, yeah. So this is the cardigan. And the next thing I have to show is my socks for William. So I finished knitting today in class during, during my work hours, <laughs> but I finished knitting the second pair. I still have to kitchener the toes, but it is done so. 
and I haven't washed and blocked either one, but I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited for these to become off the needles. As I shared in the last podcast episode, this is Manos Yarn in the colorway um, Burn. It is their fingering base, which is 75% superwash, 25% nylon, superwash merino and nylon. Um, yeah, not much else to say about these. It just takes a really long time because William has pretty large feet. But I was worried about running out of yarn last time and I have plenty left. Not as much as I usually do when I knit socks for me, but um, definitely enough that, you know, I don't know. So I'm glad I know that because, yeah, now I know that 100 grams or 400 yards is plenty for even feet that are the size of William. I don't know what his shoe size is. But I just feel like they're humongous. So, yep. Um, right now, I'm sorry, I'm winding this into a ball because this is pretty plop, floppy. But I can stop with that. Um, but yeah, this is Crazy Sock Ladies Vanilla Socks. Um, The size large so 72 stitches pretty great and a two by two rib actually yep 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 that is that those that's everything i have i do have one project that on my ravelry i've already updated as frogged even though i actually haven't frogged it and that is this this guy BB Balaclava. You know, this stitch, I don't love it. It's the same stitch as this. Um, it's basically a one by one rib, but you it's uh, staggered. So if you start with a knit on the other row, you would purl. Yeah, it's just not for me. I don't love this stitch. I don't love how I can't really see anything. I'm not... I'm just not feeling excited by it and I decided that I should just rip it out instead of like suffer through it and make something that I wasn't like a hundred percent wanting I guess um, at the moment I mean it would be cute but it's just I don't know and winter is kind of ending soon so I feel like yeah, I don't know what else I'll use this yarn for, but for now I, I feel like it's causing me a lot of stress to have a, this project on the needle because it's not a project I particularly want to work on. So I just want to free it from that. Um, and I just know that need, knitting seed stitch, which is what I think this is called, is not for me. So with that, let us take out this project. Goodbye. And then that will mean that once I weave in the ends for the socks and for this cardigan, that I will have no active projects, which is such a great feeling. Um, I'm going to start on my shawl, finally. Ugh, amazing. I'm going to start on my shawl and it's going to be so wonderful. What a great what a great feeling. So, but yeah, so next, next on the list, next on the agenda is going to be that, is going to be that, um, shawl that I showed you last episode. And I'm so excited for that. Um, I also want to do the love top that I've mentioned more than a few times now, and that's going to get some, um, balls out of stash as well. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I also want to, this year in general, like I don't know when I'll get to it, but I want to revisit some of the things that I've made and alter them because I don't get a lot of use out of them. So garments. Um, so for example, if you remember my pink mohair cardigan, that was my first cardigan, I'm pretty sure. 
and my first time doing cables and it was a kit from we are knitters a really nice gift from william's mom and i knit the smallest size but it still came out huge and at that point i wasn't as far in my knitting knowledge to be able to like alter the pattern or you know and I, I wasn't like confident enough to do that so I didn't and I kind of like I knew it was going to be humongous but I just kind of did it anyways um and I haven't washed that one or anything so it's just like really big really impractical so I actually want to like rip it out and knit it again but smaller so we'll see how that goes um yeah we'll just see how that goes because I'm not sure um and then the other thing I want to fix is my um I made like a blue sweater vest number one by my favorite things knitwear and I like stupidly knit a size large like I don't know why I did that because like my most recent one was a size small and that fits great so yeah, so I, I want to basically like re-knit that or just like wind up the yarn and use it for something else. I think it's a great for a sweater vest, so like I'm pretty sure I'll keep it as a sweater vest, but yeah, I just I just want to re-knit it basically because um, I never wear it because it's just such a weird fit. So that is something else I want to work on this year. And then my last goal that I kind of thought of, like, you notice, like, finally I'm doing goals because, or, like, I don't know. I, I think I might have done goals before, but I feel like now I'm, like, at a point to actually, like, think about goals or things I want to do because I'm finally not having things on the needles and things, like, bogging me down. So I'm really excited about that. Look at these needles. Oh man. Yeah, so that's, uh, so yeah, what was I saying? Goals, things I want to do. So besides for fixing up some knits, I also want to knit a circular yoke sweater just because I've never done it before. And I think I'm curious to see how I find the fit, if I would like it or not. Um, yeah, so. That is another thing that I'm looking forward to doing this year. I don't have a sweater pattern in mind. I just know that it's definitely something that I want to, if not this year, then in the near future, kind of explore just to see what that's like. But yeah, other than that, that's kind of all I have to report yarn-wise. I haven't gotten anything new since last time. Um, and yeah. I think I'm pretty feeling pretty good about where I'm at really good um, like after like this is like woven in washed block etc like once I know it's like done done I will feel so good and same with William socks he is visiting soon and I'm really excited for him to wear them um, yeah and that means I can knit him more socks as well so you know I think I, ugh, I should have like measured <laughs> Should have made a measurement so that I can like knit him socks in the future, but I will be sure to do that. Um, yeah, if you are usually just here for my yarny related rambles, this is the end of it. So thank you so much for joining and sticking around. Um, if you want to know when I upload next, please give my channel a follow. That would be really, really super helpful. And if you could like the video as well, um, yeah, that would be great. And thanks for coming. But if you do want to stay for me talking about things I've been listening to or watching and what I've been knitting to, I guess, stick around. Um, yeah, so what have I been doing? After the altar, I talked about last episode and it was actually really underwhelming. Like nothing exciting like at all happened. Uh, for Love is Blind after the altar. But then I started watching, I started watching, what is that show called? The Perfect Match. Oh wait, can you guys hear the vacuum? 
very apologies if you can hear a vacuum that is going downstairs. I don't know where that is stopping. But after, er, no, Perfect Match is great. I love it. There are eight episodes out now, 12 episodes total. It will probably be all out by the time you see this, but if you have watched a Netflix reality TV show, I highly recommend watching Perfect Match because it's contestants of other Netflix reality TV shows coming together, trying to find their perfect match, but it's really just like a, comp a competition show, kind of like Survivor. And it's just great. So much drama. Like, people are just so, like, childish. I don't know. It's just fun. It's just fun to watch. It's a good time. So, I do recommend it um, if you're into that sort of thing. It, yeah. It's pretty good. It's a little bit more PDA than I usually go for for reality TV. Um, but other than that. I have no complaints. I think it's pretty good. What else have I been watching? I, you know, I've seen Ratatouille four times now, and three of those times I've watched it until 20 minutes before it ended. So I've actually never finished Ratatouille, but yesterday was a movie day for the kids. And what are the odds that every single class voted for Ratatouille? So. I have seen that movie so many times, but not till the end. So at some point this weekend, I think I'm gonna finish it out because I have like probably less than 15 minutes left of it. Um, so that's something I watched while knitting on my sock. And what else I watched? I don't know, I guess not much. I mean, I've been watching knitting podcasts and if anyone ever wants to hear my subscriptions, let me know and I can do it in one of the future podcasts episodes. But yeah, it's been pretty chill. I haven't had time to read, so that is a bummer. But I'm just, I'm still like adjusting back to being in California after my trip to Williams. So yeah, I've been busy, I've been working and doing lots of exciting stuff behind the behind the scenes as well so yeah I think that's really all I have to say today thank you so much for joining me and sticking around if you did um please give it a like as I mentioned earlier and follow if you want to hear more of me um my instagram is palhum underscore and my ravelry is my first and last name jane quinn so yeah. All right. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next episode. Bye.